This is one of the hardest, if not the hardest problem on the 2023 AMC 10A. Six congruent hexagons with side one are inscribed in a larger hexagon as shown in the diagram below. What is the area of the region inside the larger hexagon outside, but outside the smaller one? So because each of these hexagons has a side length of one, we can easily find the area of each of these six hexagons, right? We divide into six equilateral triangles. Each one of them has an area of root three by four side length squared. So our overall area is just going to be our neat formula to keep in mind, three root three by two side squared, area of a hexagon. So the area of each of the smaller hexagons is just three root three by two, because S is one. But there's six of them. So overall, the six smaller hexagons have an area of nine root three. Okay, so part one, pretty simple. Now part two, which is the hard part, and that is finding the area of the big hexagon. And that's basically equivalent to finding the side length of the big hexagon, because then we can just plug it in over here. But we're also given another condition here. And the other condition is that this distance is three sevenths. 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 This is given in the problem, by the way. We're given all these distances to be three sevenths. And we have to somehow find the length of the large hexagon. The key thing here is we know this part. We know this part. Only thing we don't know is this part, which we have to somehow find. So the idea here is to find this, let's drop an altitude. So we're trying to find this part and we drop an altitude. Take a look, this is 60, this is because you know, this is 120 and this is 30, a 30, 60, 90 triangle. And we're trying to solve for this X. So that is equivalent to finding the value of this side or this side. If we can do that, we can easily solve for x and finish the problem from there. So how should we do this? L let's consider them. We either want to look at this or we want to look at this. The question is, which one will be easier to find the value of? the short leg or the height. And the short leg, it's very, you know, it's just, it's, it's just a random point here. It's not anything meaningful on the hexagon. So therefore it's probably better to try and find this height. If you can find this height, then we are basically gonna be finished with the problem. So this height, you know, we're looking at this height of the hexagon. Maybe let's consider all the different heights that exist in this hexagon, right? We also have this, which is just root three. This thingy over here, which is root three. And then we have this thingy over here, which is also root three. And you might be like, huh, why is that root three? Because this is one, and then this is one, and then this thing is root three, right? Similarly, we have this is root three, and the heights are gonna be the same everywhere. If this is root three, then this is root three, and this is root three, and this is root three, because they're all heights of the hexagon. So this is root three, this is root three, this is, well, we don't know in terms of x, and then this part, aha. This part over here. Notice that this angle here, that green dot I labeled, that green dot is 30 degrees. You know what, let's erase this. That angle is 30 degrees, the green dot. And this length is three sevenths. So we just use 30, 60, 90 triangles. This is three over 14. So therefore this is three root three over 14. And now we have, oops, that went away, but don't worry about it, right? We knew that was S root three. We have three root three by 14 plus two S root three, right? We had the, this one, and then we also had this one plus, or why am I saying S root three? S is one, so it's literally just root three. Yeah, I don't know why I said S root three here. And then plus X over two times root three. All of this is just equal to, well, this is all going to be, you see here, this thingy over here, 
This thingy over here, which is x plus 10 sevenths, this whole thing is x plus 10 sevenths, and by 30, 60, 90 triangles, or 120, 30, 30 triangles, which is really just 30, 60, 90 triangles, like a mini shortcut to that, this is going to be x plus 10 sevenths times root 3. So let's just write that equation now. x plus 10 sevenths times root 3. And now it's just some algebra, right? We have 2 root 3, which is 28 root 3 over 14. So 31 root 3 over 14. And that's plus x root 3 over 2 equals x root 3 plus 10 root 3 by 7, which we can just make 20 root 3 over 14. So now we have 11 root 3 over 14 is equal to x root 3 over 2. And then now we can just cancel 2 and make that a 7. So therefore, x is 11 over 7. So therefore, this total side length is just 3. 11 sevenths plus 3 sevenths plus 1 is 3. So the area of this big hexagon is now going to just be 3 root 3 by 2 s squared. And that's 27 root 3 by 2. And now we just subtract them. Pink minus blue. We get an answer of 9 root 3 over 2, which is the answer. And ignore these option choices. They're not meant for this problem. So yeah, our answer is 9 root 3 over 2. And the key, the key tricks here, we're realizing that we know this part. We know this part. The only thing we don't know is this part. And to find this length, well, we can drop the altitude. And then we're like, okay, we can either find this length or this length, and that will allow us to find the value of x. Finding this length, you know, this is just a random point, so it's not very easy. This length, well, it's the altitude of this region. So if we can find the altitude of this region, altitude of this region, and altitude of this region, they all add up to this thingy, root 3, by 30, 60, 90s. And that allowed for a nice and simple finish. A nice, cool problem from the AMT. Hope you enjoyed this video.